My ideal garden. Lots of different textures and surfaces, like decking or railway sleepers. Gravel, stone paved area with pots. Just no lawn, no grass, please, no grass. Here, put the racket in there. What's the matter? I was about the guarantee group is still haven't heard anything. Oh, that's all right. Aye, but the thing is, if you're chosen, you'll not be going with me. What? You mean you've heard you're not going? No. I'm giving this job up. Why? This yard. Never did feel safe. But now it is. I don't know. I get a bad feeling about the place. And I have two wains to look after. What with our mother going? I'm taking a job as a deckhand at the White Star Lane. Oh, that's grand. It'll take you away from home. Ah, oh, my sister-in-law, Annie, will look after the boys. When I've saved enough, I'm going to bring him out to America. A new life. Oh. Good luck. Hi. Those boys couldn't hit a dinosaur with a dart. Sure Captain Coleman would have something to say about that, Adams? Absolutely, sir. Sorry, sir. And then I had a couple of bad days. Came off in the first bend, came off in the fourth bend, came off in the fourth lap. And it seems, it's like once you get caught in that trap, you can't get out of it. You're starting to come off, you're, you're trying other things and then other things are tripping you up. And then there's no dinners. And the phone's not ringing. And the fans are gone. shot yesterday was misidentified. What? Research assures us that he wasn't linked to any previous terrorist attacks. Safer trade for us, eh, Mr. Miller? Safer? We say so. But Weren't you afraid to tell those fellows where to go, like, with them being Protestants and all? You're a Protestant. Who's Mr. Miller here? Should we be afraid of you? No. Live and let live, they say. Aye. We're all Irish men here. Even himself. Is that Mr. Perry? Lord Perry to me and you. Must be something mighty important to have brought him down here, though, Mr. Miller. Though, for this first great encounter with the enemy, I know that I shall be able to write and tell how the men of the Ulster Division bore themselves like men in the day of the battle and did all that was asked of them.